Good morning, everybody. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. This is what it looks like here in the morning. It's extremely wet. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning. And when I wake up, the house is dripping with water. I'll show you. This is the Cats Building, the nonprofit. You can see there's water dripping, dripping, dripping. And of course, every morning I have to wipe spider webs off of this building because the witches, the WAPs, the witches on patrol, um, place spiders all over the building. They are performing a ritual. They don't want me to sell my property, so they're trying to destroy this 501c3 nonprofit cat building that I spent over $20,000 on without the electrical, without the linoleum, without the rugs, without the ceiling fans, without the mini split. Okay, so I spent about $30,000 on this building. I'm going to show you what they've done to destroy it. And these are the Freemasons. These are the local Freemasons. Okay, so after my mother was killed at Lawrence Hospital, that's now Presbyterian in Yonkers, New York, a couple of years ago, when I returned, not only was one of my chickens stolen and my one of my neighbors diagonally across was watching the property she let it happen okay she was involved we won't go there they cut a hole in the underpinning here you can see it right here i have it duct tape but then what they do is uh because they're all about their symbolism their half moons their moons their suns their mathematical symbol, pi, their just do it Nike symbol. So this is what they did on the side of the building. Do you have any idea how hard this board is? Let me show you. They cut a hole here. They did the same thing up here. Now this building was built by the Amish. Hole here, a hole here that I put material and I've got to redo it. But look at what they did around the windows. You see this? They want to make it look old and unattractive and ugly. As if this happened naturally, right? This is what they've done. And they can't blame the cats on this, right? But now I just noticed this morning, just noticed this morning, they've done the same thing over here. Look, You think this happens all by itself? Look at this. This happened overnight. Was not like this yesterday. And look underneath here. They're puncturing holes underneath here. Now, of course, I had like 70% battery. And now suddenly, since I'm recording this, I've got a low battery light. They don't want you to see what they've done. But I'm gonna show you some more. I don't know if you could see this underneath here. They're scraping it to make it look dark and as if it's not been cared for. And I'm going to show you here too. They did this last year, just as a side. They've been cracking the wood here. One, two, three. Freemason losers. They're going around to all the nails and hammering them to cause the glue and the paint to fall off. And then what happens is, and you see how deep this, the, the nails are. They're really deep. So this was covered to make this flat. I mean, I could actually put my pinky in there now because they have removed the glue and the paint, with several layers of paint. And then, and I don't use a weed eater for all those naysayers out there. They did this last year, one, two, three. And don't anybody tell me it's not the Freemasons. And then they rusted all the nails. Right? These are galvanized nails. And this is not new, by the way. I'm just showing you as part of what they're doing to this 501c3 nonprofit building that I spent a lot of money on. And they want to destroy it. They're envious and jealous. They know the property's going to sell and they're trying to reduce the cost of the price that it sells for. 
And I want to show you what they did last week. I think I showed you a little bit, but I didn't show you how I re repaired it. Now this is a, a garage. And I'm going to tell you, I have painted... I have painted these windows. The next day they scraped it off. Then I coated it with plastic. They tore the plastic down. And then on this hasp, they cut the loop. They cut the loop, I had to replace it. And I found my lock with all the duct tape on it on the floor. They cut the hasp and the hasp was a little bit stronger on the last one. Hey guys, leave the girls alone. Leave the girls alone. So, so that's what's happening here. This is just another evidentiary video and I apologize to all the people out there that this is not happening to. But I want you to see what they're doing here. And no, this is not naturally occurring. They punctured a hole here, holes here, holes here, holes here. When I moved here, I should post the photos of what this place looked like when I moved here and what it looks like now. The former owner built this property And it lasted for 30 years that he's living here. And within a year of my moving here, the local criminals were, were going after their work and they spread grass seed all over my driveway. My driveway starts here and they poured all this grass seed here. It's like a carpet. These are envious and jealous, disgusting people. And yeah, it's the Freemasons, it's my neighbors, John and Mary, Eddie and Scarlett. Their whole family, the whole Scarlett family is involved. And then you've got the agent that lives next door to John and Mary. He drives the more expensive new car. Yeah. And then of course you've got the Zoom boy up the block who likes to destroy the county road. They're all in on it. It's a big money-making, human trafficking business. It's a cult. And I showed you what they did to my gate here. And no, I'm not going to be painting it. I'm not going to be doing anything to this property. I, I learned my lesson in New Jersey. I renovated my house top to bottom and they destroyed everything that I renovated. I ended up having to re even redo my bathroom. I had to re renovate my bathroom. It cost me twice as much money. I'm not going to be doing that here. It's not worth it. I already put so much money into this property. I probably put $300,000 into this property. No joke. Why so much money? Well, I didn't have any place to live when I moved here. I had to bring a house. And then once the house was delivered, I had to wire it up. I had to plumb it up. I had to get a septic system. I installed all these solar lights. This driveway did not exist. There were thorny shrubs all around all of my fencing. It all had to be removed. I had to have an exterminator come before I could even move down here because there were, at the time, not anymore, mice and crawdaddies everywhere. I had to have so many trees cut down, literal and, and landscaping. I've spent thousands of dollars. I installed three greenhouses. They were all torn down. And then I bought my, brought my nonprofit building here. And like I said, with everything in, in interior and exterior that I did about $30,000. And then about my shed. 
Yeah. My shed has two vaulted ceilings, two lofts, shelves, electrical, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi extender. That wasn't here when I moved here. I paid for all of that. Yeah, I had to have trees cut down back here. And then last year I spent $6,000 to have all these buildings cleaned out. They look so nice. Then literally over the winter time, every one of them was broken into. Two of them by raccoons. You could tell the difference between raccoon damage and human damage. And the criminals, they spread spider webs everywhere. They broke this. Right, they broke this. They cracked this. And here's, here's, uh, let me show you the Freemason symbol. It's over here. One second. Here, look. This is what they do. They're half moons everywhere. They crack this. They punctured a hole in my vinyl siding here a couple of weeks ago. I covered it with duct tape. You can see the hole here. You want to own a home, targeted people? This is what happens. When you rent, it's a pain in the ass, for sure. You have to give a deposit, security deposit. You really can't do what you want to the place. But when you own a home, what they do, these expenses are phenomenal. Phenomenal. It costs me, I don't know, about $4,000 to install this driveway. Because you don't install it once, you do install it in layers. So over three years, I installed this driveway. And then after, some, after February of this year, they spread all those seeds because I have the before and after photo. So anyway, this is my little rant here. They've damaged so much here. And then I think about the former owner. You know, if there is life after death, he is looking down. He can see all the traitors, all the traitors that he trusted. All of his work that's being deliberately destroyed and damaged. But I guarantee these efforts are going to pay. Because like I said, if I don't sell my property in a particular time frame, I will file a lawsuit. And I have every intention on winning. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading signing off for now. Please remember to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel grow, get the message out there. And if anybody out there has sued your local government, has sued a sheriff's department, has sued your city or state or your neighbors, please hit me up. Send me an email, alternativehomesteading at gmail.com. I want to know in what jurisdiction and court you filed. Was it a civil? Was it a federal? Was it a local? Was it a, oh, did you file pro se? Were you able to get an attorney? Please email me privately, alternativehomesteading at gmail.com. I want to have a discussion. Thank you so much. Signing off for now.